Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with my sister because she, as you can see with her beautiful purple hair, is a hair bleaching expert. Uh, I would call it more of a home amateur. <laughs> to me it's an expert because um, we box bleached my hair once in like the eighth grade and it was orange. Um, and I yeah. box bleached my hair again to turn it red and it was orange. The plan is to bleach and go silver. If you could tell the difference on camera. I have box dyed hair from about here down and from here up is my virgin hair. It's already difficult to go to platinum, to go to, to white. If there is box dye on your head, it's more difficult. What kind of bleach product are you using? And don't say 40 volumes. What we're probably going to do with that is because there is such a difference here. I'm going to foil all of this hair and then I'm going to hit it with the box bleach part probably first. Wait about 15 minutes, see how it goes. And then go up to this part right about, about an inch from the scalp. Put it on, bleach the whole thing. Make sure this stays nice and bleached. Like we're going to use a lot of bleach. I could not say it any better. Today is day one of the process. It is Wednesday and Kate's coming back on Sunday. We're gonna do another day. If we need it, we probably will. We're gonna show you guys the whole process and at the end, you're gonna see the final results from this luscious um, brown hair to hopefully silver, if not a light blonde that I will dye silver in the future. I'm just probably gonna go in with 30 volume developer. Might seem a bit high for some of this lighter bit stuff, but we're gonna just see how it goes. Um, I use 30 volume on my hair, especially when I do my roots, uh, but I have quite dark hair naturally. It's perfect that it's not 40 volumes. It will be better if you do it with 20 volumes. Not a lot of people think you can bleach to white with 20 volumes. It goes slowly. Because you go slowly, you will have the time to melt down all these yellow and orange pigments. If you want to go to white and silver, you will have to bleach it two or three times. And if you are using 30 volumes, you are killing your hair. Uh, so then the other thing we're using is L'Oreal Quick Blue. Uh, it's a bleach powder. <laughs> If you don't if, like if you have like greasy or hair or not greasy but like it's better to have not freshly shampooed hair because the bleach is going to be pretty harsh on the scalp and you don't want it to burn and if you don't have like your natural oils from your head protecting your scalp then uh it's gonna hurt more so we want those we want those there so um i'm just sectioning your hair into quadrants and then we're gonna go from there. I don't think I have enough foils, so we're just gonna see. We might just give up on the foils. Okay, so I don't have enough foils, and rather than making the sections too thick, we're just gonna ditch the foil. Ditch the foil. I'm happy that she did not do any aluminium foils because of the heat that are inside your hair, and you are using 30 volumes you are actually killing your hair. So be careful with that aluminum foils. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Setting a timer for 10 minutes. Okay. Here we go. This is her hair now. Um, if we open this stuff up, we can see it's lighter for sure. Probably as light as I'm gonna leave it for now. This stuff still needs to go. So I'm gonna start back here and then go all the way up to the front. No, 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 no. You cannot see the color correctly if the bleach is on your head. Don't color the roots while the color, the bleach is on the lens. You have to rinse it out, dry it and see. You don't have to wash it. You don't have to shampoo it. Just rinse it out and dry it and see what color it is. If it's not good, then do the length again. And maybe with 10, 10 volumes. Don't apply it on the roots until you are so happy with the color of the length. So 
So do you want, how long do we want to proof this for? Uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes? I'm just gonna film myself like this while you take it out. I'm like the real Slim Shady up in here. Yes, but the real Slim Shady with patchy hair. It's not even, you have dark spots. Here it is, looking really orange. Um, we do need to like hit a couple of spots that we kind of- A couple? Oh, okay. I'm gonna just dry this off because I'm gonna do the toning conditioner. Don't use a toning conditioner on your head if you have to bleach it again. Okay, I'm going back in to rinse the toning shampoo. I'll show you guys what round one of bleaching looks like tomorrow in the morning, the final result of it. Um, it's like midnight and I have to get up early, so. Good night and we'll see you guys tomorrow with the dry, toned and dry update. Hey y'all, the next day of bleach number one. This is it in some natural sunlight. So as you guys can see, we lightened it quite a lot. Um, so we're gonna do one more round of bleach, but it mostly just needs a tone now. It's quite light. It's very light. I'm surprised it's very light, but it's yet. So, yeah. Okay guys, we are back for day two of hair dyeing adventure. This is where we're at right now. We're gonna bleach again because we do have a couple of dark spots. You don't go to use the 30 volumes again. Please don't. So for this time, we're gonna do the quadrants again, but because her under stuff sat longer, it's actually quite a bit lighter. I don't know if you can really tell compared to the front stuff. It's always a good idea if you start in the back and you come to the top that you set a timer and then you color the front. When the first timer goes off, you rinse the back and then the second time is for the front. So you have an equal end result. So we're gonna do the front stuff first, then do the back stuff, let it all sit. Um, I'll do the roots after as well, after I go through it all first. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just hit up some of those dark spots like this, this patch here, I'll touch that up first. And yeah. Here is the bleach situation for round two just letting this soak in and then rinse out and then that's going to be it for part one of this transformation i have to say something good in this video the saturation there's a lot of bleach on your on your hair that's good if you are bleaching your hair you have to use a lot of bleach i think you used again the 30 volumes because you have one bottle of 30 volumes. Two bleaches with 30 volumes. So guys, here we are at the second round of bleach. As you can see, much whiter. Um, but, uh, um. <gasps> For real though, you guys honestly have no idea that amount that I showed there wasn't even close to half of what I pulled out of the drain later. And I wish I got my reaction on camera, but I was, um, you know, in the shower, in the nude. Uh, I didn't want to ruin or bleach any of the bathing suits I have. So nobody was running to get the camera when I was freaking out. Um, but I did freak out a lot. I started crying. And um, so that whole entire back section that was lighter, the entire part of it that was box dyed, yeah, it fell off. Like half of a quarter of my hair fell out. Yeah. So when I was rinsing it out, my hair started coming out in clumps. So we left it too long. So that's great. <laughs> Just like hold my hair, but that's fine. Um, it is like super white, so we don't it's have honestly to. Honestly, not that bad. So we don't have to whiten it again. Like that's that's um, it total. That's a lot. Okay, she was like trying to lie to me while I was rinsing out. Oh, that's fine. But um, yeah, that's not cute, but it's fine. Uh, it'll be fine. It's really, really looking bad. That's not fine. Ooh. Oh. What's wrong with it? It's not bad. It's just, it's not great. Is it just like short and like... Yeah, kind of stringy. Gross, yay. So that's my life right now. Okay, bye. Okay guys, so here it is the day after. Hey, the color is nice. You reached your goal.
you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of yellowness right at the front and down this side. But the rest of it's pretty much completely white. The part of my hair that burnt off from the bleach, the stuff at the back of my neck, like under here. So when I brush my hair, this is what happens. <laughs> Oh. Gap? I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a trim today. I've done it many times. A little bit of a trim. And the goal of this trim is twofold to get the dead ends out, obviously, but also a little bit to try and get the parts that fell out to match the rest a little bit more. It's a piece in the front that you are cutting. It's the pieces in the back that's needed a yeah. cut. If you pull your hair to the front, there will be no cutting from the back. But hey, it's already cut. It's a chemical cut in the back. End of day two. This is where we're at. And I will tune back in with you guys tomorrow, actually, for the silver part. So, yeah. Here you go. The silver dye that I ordered came. So I thought I'd just open it on camera, cause why not? This is just a semi-permanent dye. Okay, here it is. So it's the Joyco Color Intensity, and this color is in titanium. So yeah, this is... Um, I wasn't gonna do this today, but now I kind of really want to. Please don't put it on your cap. What do you think? Let me do this. So, um, he just stopped. There's a guy sawing outside. Sorry about that, guys. I have a lot to do today, so I have to do this now. Here's what she's looking like. Yeah, there's obviously still the section where I lost a bunch of hair. I don't know. <laughs> We're trying to salvage this the best that we can, y'all. So, oh my god. <laughs> I literally can't. to dry hair. It's not enough in this tube to do my whole head at that point. <laughs> Guys. What a okay, mess. This is, this is like not going well. <laughs> it's so hard to apply. I'm also just like, I know that I'm not doing this like in a good way, guys. I know, okay? You don't have to tell me. Oh, look at the application. Oh, oh, oh. This is bad. It's wide enough to go to silver. I think the color, if you apply it a little bit more even, I think the color will be silver. But the price you paid to get to silver, woo! A bunch of it has already fallen out, so I don't really have high hopes for this recovery. I just want it to be even. I'm letting this grow out and I'm going back to my virgin hair. Okay, so camera, you are my guide to if I missed any spots. So I'm just gonna get cleaned up, set the timer, and then uh, we'll rinse off together. That guy is back drilling, but here's the wet situation. This side looks good. This side, I feel like I missed white. I don't know if you can see. We can see. Spots. I can't really see. I'm gonna have to look back at the footage, so. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what it looks like when it's dry. And then, yeah, that's it, guys. We're gonna do the final hair reveal. Next. Wow, what a journey. Bye. Okay, everybody, here we are. This is the final transformation. I did go ahead and curl my hair. So there is a bunch of like mist white spots on the inside there. So as you can probably see, there is like the damaged area that is a problem. There is a lot of frizziness that I'm gonna have to deal with as well. I don't know, I like it. Um, I know that it's not perfect and there's some spots here and there of white that I didn't get. I hope you guys enjoyed my makeover. Thank you for sticking with me throughout the whole video. It's silver. 
Have you learned from this video? Have you been entertained by this video? Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is... Chocus.